Hi guys, welcome back to Cup of Teach. Today, we're going to discuss simplifying radical expressions. In simplifying radical expressions, we need to follow two properties. The first one is multiplication property of radicals. Let's have here the square root of a times b, or square root of a, b. If a and b represent non-negative real numbers, so we can factor it now, the square root of a times the square root of b. For example, square root of 8. 8 is not a perfect square, but pwede pa natin siyang i-factor. We just think of the two factors wherein one factor is a perfect square. So let's have here square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So ang 4 natin dito, perfect square. What is perfect square? Perfect square, it is a product of some integer with itself. So, let's have here an example of perfect squares. So, since ito ang 4, and then, if you're going to get the square root of 4, that is 2. So, paano siya naging perfect square? If you're going to multiply 2 to itself, the answer is 4. Therefore, the square root of 4 is 2. So, you're going to write here 2. Just copy square root of 2. So, we will have now 2 is square root of 2. Another example, negative 3 square root of 18. Ang 18 is not a perfect square, but we can factor it. We just copy negative 3 factors ng square root of 18 or square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Since 9 is a perfect square, just look at the table. So this is 9, the Square root of 9 is 3. So, you just write here, negative 3. Square root of 9 is 3. You just copy square root of 2. Then, multiply the 2. That is negative 9. Just copy square root of 2. Therefore, the final answer is negative 9 square root of 2. Number 3, cube root of 24. 24 is not a perfect cube. Therefore, we need to factor it. You have to think of the two factors wherein one factor is a perfect cube. Let's have here cube root of 8 and cube root of 3. 8 here is perfect cube. Perfect cube is a number which is equal to the number multiplied by itself 3 times. Let's have here some perfect cube. So here is 8 and the cube root of 8 is 2. Paano nangyari? 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, the cube root of 8 is 2. Then you just copy cube root of 3. So we will have now 2 cube root of 3. Let's have here number 4. Square root of x raised to the fifth power. 5 here is not a perfect square. Therefore, we need to factor it wherein one factor is a perfect square. So, paano natin siyang gagawing perfect square? Kinakailangan lang maging divisible by its index. Ang index natin dito, 2. Automatically, na meron tayong index dito ng 2. So, kapag pinactor natin, dapat divisible by 2. So, that is equal to the x raised to the fourth power. So, this is the first factor, square root of x raised to the fourth power. And the other one, x only. Kasi nandito na yung 1. Ito yung 4. So, if you're going to multiply the 2, that is equal to the x raised to the 5th power. So, yung x raised to the 4th power, yaan na yung perfect square. So, pwede na tayong mag-divide ng exponent. So, we will have now x raised to the 4th power over 2. And then, you just copy the square root of x. Divide the exponent, so x raised to the second power, just copy the square root of x. So, this is now the final answer. Number 5, cube root of 27, x cubed, y raised to the 8th power, z raised to the 12th power. So, kaya na kailangan natin isa-isahin kung sino yung mga perfect cube dito. Ang 27 is perfect cube. So, this one, ang x cube is also a perfect cube because the exponent is divisible by 3. Ang y raised to the 8th power is not perfect cube. 
yung exponent na 8 is not divisible by 3. So, kinakailangan natin itong i-factor mamaya. Ang z raised to the 12 power is perfect cube because the exponent is divisible by 3. So, we will have now cube root of 27. You just copy 27. Then, x cube, y raised to the 6 power. So, binawasan lang natin ng dalawa yung exponent para maging divisible by 3. Z raised to the 12 power. So, eto na yung perfect cube. And then, the other factor is cube root of y raised to the second power. So, yung second power, kasi yun yung binawas natin sa y raised to the 8th power. Kaya, we have here y raised to the 6th power. And then, the other one, y raised to the second power. So, this is now the perfect cube. So, pwede natin siyang isimplify. Cube root ng 27, that is 3. So, I just write here 3, then yung x raised to the third power, divide by 3 because that is the index. y raised to the sixth power divided by 3, so 3 is the index. Then, z raised to the twelfth power divided by 3, index natin yan. And then, you just copy the cube root of y squared. So, let us simplify. That is 3x y raised to the second power, z raised to the fourth power, and just copy the cube root of y squared. So, this is now the final answer. Let's have here the second property of radicals, the division property of radicals. If a and b represent real numbers with a is greater than or equal to zero and b is greater than zero, the square root of a over b so, that is the square root of A over the square root of B. Let's have an example. The square root of 9 over 16. So, we can separate that. That is the square root of 9 over the square root of 16. Since 9 and 16 are perfect square, therefore, we can simplify it. The square root of 9, look at the table, is 3. And the square root of 16... Look at the table. That is 4. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 4. Number 2. Cube root of 8 over 125. Let us separate the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 125. Then, look at the table. The cube root of 8 is 2. And the cube root of 125 is 5. Therefore, the final answer is 2 over 5. Number 3, the square root of 4x raised to the 5th power over 25x raised to the 4th power. Let us separate the numerator and the denominator. So, we will have now the square root of 4x raised to the 5th power over the square root of 25x raised to the 4th power. So, yung square root of 4x raised to the 5th power, ang hindi lang perfect square dito, yung x raised to the 5th power. So, kailangan natin siyang i-factor. Yung 25x raised to the fourth power, perfect square na siya. Therefore, yung nasa numerator lang ang i-factor natin. So, we'll have now the square root of 4x raised to the fourth power times the square root of x. So, paano siya naging 4? Kasi kinakailangan maging divisible by its index. So, ang index natin dito ay 2. Since ito ay 5, so sobra lang siya ng isa. So, yung sobra na isa, ilalagay lang natin sa right side. So, yung square root ng x. And then, yung nasa left side, yung perfect square. Over the square root of 25, x raised to the fourth power. So, yung square root of 4, x raised to the fourth power, perfect square na siya. Yung square root of 25, x raised to the fourth power, perfect square na siya. Therefore, we can simplify it now. So, we'll have now 2x raised to the fourth power over 2. So, yung 2 nang galing sa square root of 4. And then, yung 4 exponent ni x over 2, yung 2 is the index. Just copy square root of x. Over square root of 25, x raised to the fourth power is 5x raised to the fourth power over 2. Yung 2 dito, that is the index. Let us simplify the exponents. 
So we will have now 2x squared copy the square root of x over 5x squared. And then yung x squared sa numerator and denominator, pwede na natin i-cancel. Therefore, we will have now 2 the square root of x over 5. So this is now the final answer. Next, number 4. The square root of 18x raised to the 7th power over 81xy squared. Let us separate the numerator and the denominator. And then, yung numerator, 18, is not a perfect square. Even x raised to the 7th power is not a perfect square. Yung 81, perfect square, x is not, y squared is a perfect square. Basta palaging tandaan, yung exponent, titignan lang kung divisible by its index. So, since ang 7 dito is not divisible, therefore, ipapactor din natin siya. So, let us do first the numerator. Let us factor it. Factor ng 18, 9, and 2. Yung x raised to the 7th power, that is x raised to the 6th power, and x. Kasi kinakailangan lang naman maging divisible by its index. Ang index nito ay 2, so yung 7, bawas lang ng isa. So yung isa na tinanggal natin, lagay lang natin sa right side. And then yung 6, nasa left side. Next. The square root of 81, y squared. Kasi, x lang naman dito ang hindi perfect square. So, ilalagay lang natin siya sa right side. Then, yung nasa left side, pwede na natin simplify kasi they are perfect square. So, we'll have now 3x raised to the 6th power over 2. So, yung 3 is square root of 9. And then, x raised to the 6th power, yung 2 is the index. You just copy square root of 2x over 81, square root ng 81 is 9, and then y squared, that is y, raised to the second power over 2. Yung 2 dito, that is the index. Just copy square root of x. Simplify the exponents. So we will have now the x cubed. Just copy square root of 2x over 3y. And then, just copy square root of x. Then, yung x sa radicand, pwede na natin siyang i-cancel. Therefore, we will have now 3x cubed square root of 2. Meron pang matitirang square root of 2. Kasi x lang naman ang tinanggal natin dito. Over 9y. So, this is now the final answer. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!